Are you wondering what is patella luxation and how does it affect Boston Terriers? In this video, I actually interviewed Dr. Reinhardt to discuss what is patella luxation, how to spot it in Boston Terriers, what does the procedure look like, how much does the procedure cost, and so much more. Be sure to stay till the end because I'm going to cover ways how you can save if you do have to go ahead and get this surgery. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews like the one today, or connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. Here is Bella, my Boston of over a decade. Man, she looks so happy. Today we're going to be talking about patella luxation. It could also be called patellar luxation or luxating patella or even floating knee. And whether or not you know it, but patella luxation is very common within the Boston Terrier breed. And according to Boston Terrier Club of America, it is the common orthopedic problem within the Boston Terrier dog breed. Now this interview is packed with a lot of information and I asked a lot of specific questions to Dr. Reinhardt. You can check out the timestamps below to see if you have a specific question. That way you can jump to the video and get your answer. Also, if you wanna learn more about, you know, just different health issues related to Boston Terriers, I wrote an article on bostonterriersociety.com covering the top 10. You can also check that out in the show notes. And before we get started, you know, once again, use this video as a guide. You always wanna take the personal recommendations of your veterinarian because they're gonna know your Boston Terrier specifically. But this video should be used as a guide just so you know what's going on. So without further ado, let's get into the show. Hey, Dr. Reinhardt, thanks so much for coming on the YouTube channel again. Hey, Donnie, thanks for having me back on the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. So my very first question is, what is patella luxation and how can you spot it within Boston Terriers? So patella luxation is essentially when the kneecap is popping in and out of place. So the patellas are on the two back legs. And so if your Boston is running or walking and then suddenly starts limping and kind of swinging their leg outwardly, this could mean that there is a patella luxation. Sometimes the patella may pop out and then back into place. And once it pops back into place, your dog is usually gonna start walking normally again. Now there's a lot of things that can cause limping in the back legs, such as um, torn ACLs or soft tissue injuries. So anytime your Boston is limping, I do recommend having them um, assessed by your veterinarian. Vets can quickly tell if there's a luxating patella. Um, and usually vets are gonna check for luxating patellas at your pet's annual physical exam. Now when a dog suffers from patella luxation, is it actually painful? At first, patella luxation is usually not very painful. Many times your vets may pick it up early in your Boston's life. That being said, as your dog ages, they may have more arthritis because of the luxating patella, which can cause pain, or the luxating patella can get worse. Vets grade luxating patellas on a scale of one to four. The higher the grade, the worse the patella luxation, and the more chances that there are for pain and limping. So in dogs with grade three and four luxating patellas, the kneecap is essentially popped out of place um, all of the time. So my cat actually has a luxating patella and at first it didn't seem to really cause him any pain when he was younger. So I made the decision to not pursue surgery because uh, he didn't really seem painful. But now I kind of regret it because he has pretty bad arthritis in his knee. So I typically recommend um, surgery for dogs that have luxating patellas um, that are grade uh, two through four. And um, you can speak with your vet about this procedure because this procedure can help ensure that they don't have pain and arthritis later on in life. So if somebody thinks their Boston Terrier has this, what can the vet do to find out if it actually does? The vet can palpate or feel if your Boston has a luxating patella. So we're actually able to bend and kind of stretch the leg around and move the, the kneecap. If it pops out of place when we push on it, then your dog has a luxating patella. Now is patella luxation only common within the Boston Terrier breed or is it found in other dogs as well? Luxating patellas are pretty common in Boston Terriers. Most commonly I see luxating patellas in small breed dogs. I see quite a few luxating patellas in and chihuahuas, uh, toy poodles, and Maltese's. Now, you know, Bella here has patella luxation, which she doesn't, but if she did, can she live with it? Will this eventually go away? Dogs can live with luxating patellas. So this is not a fatal condition. 
That being said, um, because it can cause pain, I usually recommend speaking with your veterinarian about surgical options because the other risk to leaving a luxating patella untreated is that it may predispose the knee to a further injury. So I've seen quite a few torn ACLs in dogs with luxating patellas. Um, Also, it can cause pain and arthritis long-term, so I think it's a good idea to get it surgically corrected um, most of the time. Will patella luxation correct itself over time? So at first, especially with lower grade patella luxations, patellas can actually pop back into place on their own. But the chances are that once this has happened once, the patellas are always going to have a chance of popping in and out of place, especially when your dog is active. So as far as someone who is thinking about, you know, their Boston Terrier needs this patella luxation surgery, can you walk us through what the process looks like? Like, will their dog actually go under? The procedure is done under general anesthesia. So to correct a luxating patella, typically surgeons are going to do a few different procedures at the same time. They're going to deepen the groove um, where the kneecap sits, so it'll have less chance of popping out of place. They're also going to want to realign the bones around the knee to make sure it doesn't pop in and out of place. The surgery is a fairly lengthy procedure and can take uh, an hour or two. And many times your vet will want you to leave your dog at the clinic for a few days after the procedure to make sure the pain is well under control. Now, once a Boston Terrier actually has the patella luxation surgery, what does the recovery look like? So the recovery for patella luxation is fairly long. After surgery, your Boston is gonna need to be crate rested for around eight weeks. This means that um, they should always be in their crate except when they're going outside to potty on leash. You can't let your dog run around off leash or go on long walks until at the end of the eight weeks. In addition, you're gonna need to monitor the incision at least once or twice a day to watch out for signs of infection, including uh, discharge, foul odor, or excessive swelling. Your Boston's gonna need to wear a cone for the first couple weeks so they don't lick open that incision. A lot of vets are gonna recommend physical therapy exercises that you can do at home. So after the eight weeks, your vet's gonna allow you to gradually um, transition your Boston to normal activity. The prognosis for complete recovery of the limping following the recommended rest period is actually really, really good for your Boston. So they should be able to um, resume that normal activity once they've gotten through the surgery and done their rest and recovery period. Okay, now I know this is completely dependent on, you know, where you're at. It could be different geographical areas as far as price, but could you just give us a ballpark as far as what does patella luxation surgery actually cost? This procedure can cost anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000 per knee, depending on the surgeon. You're going to pay more at a veterinary surgeon specialist, but often specialists are much more experienced at doing this type of procedure. Hey, I just wanted to hop in. If you're enjoying this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel just so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. Back to the interview. Okay, now somebody thinks, you know, maybe my Boston Terrier does have this. If they're thinking this, what should they do? Like, what's their next step? Anytime your dog is doing anything out of the ordinary, I always recommend taking them to the vet. Um, But if you think your Boston has a luxating patella, you should speak with your vet pretty quickly. There's a lot of different causes of limping and it's important to get a definitive diagnosis so you know exactly what you're dealing with. If your dog has been limping, it's important to consult with your vet. Okay, well, Dr. Reinhardt, once again, this has been very helpful and very informative. I think this is gonna help a lot of people because I know a lot of people within the community have been you know, wondering these questions and I think this answers it. Thanks, Donnie. I hope that this insight about patella luxation was helpful to you and all the Boston Terrier owners out there. Hey, thanks so much for watching today's interview. I hope it was really helpful and informative. And I do wanna cover basically how you can save money today if you do need to go get this surgery because it is quite expensive. So obviously if you have traditional pet insurance, that more than likely is gonna help cover it. So I will put in the show notes if you wanna get a quote, just know that some pet insurances do have some sort of pre-existing conditions clause. That's why I wanna talk about Pettisure, which Emily and I have. Pettisure, we bought it whenever we got Bella's teeth cleaned, which was like, you know, several hundred dollars. So this actually saved us a hundred dollars. It gets you 25% off whatever vet procedure or just your normal vet visit is. Now there are stipulations where it has to be a certain vet that Pettisher is aligned with. So if your vet doesn't participate, that's something you're gonna wanna find out. I'll put their information in the show notes, but whenever we bought it, it was $100 for the entire year and it saves you 25% immediately. So literally, if your dog has this procedure, you know, today within an hour, if you go online and buy this, you'll save 25% as long as the vet participates, which you'll be able to find on their website. So once again, a procedure like this, 
you know, if it's $1,000, it's gonna save you $250 by getting this plan. I hope this little tip helps. Question of the day, have you had this surgery already for your Boston Terrier? If you have, just share your experience in the comments below, because it'll help people that are on their journey whether or not they have to get this surgery or not. Also, if you're somebody who knows your dog has to do this surgery, put in the comments below like what you're struggling with and your fears, and then other people can comment, and this can kind of basically be a support group for people that have to go through this. If you wanna learn more about health-related issues in regard to Boston Terriers, you can check out a playlist I created here, or just check out one of my latest videos here. And as always, until next time, life is better with a Boston. Right, Bella?